Hello, I'm Dr. Kemp, Hammond Doc. In this video, I want to talk about when to change your audio output tubes in your Leslie amplifier. Now, vintage Leslie amplifiers like the 122 and the 147 amplifiers use two audio output tubes. And these are known as 6550 tubes. I um, have a couple here on my desk. Uh, this is a, a traditional 6550 uh, audio output tube. Um, or you may see one that looks like this. This is a Tung Soul 6550 audio output tube. Now, if you are in the business of doing electronics, uh, electronic work on tube amplifiers, then more than likely you will own a tube tester. But, uh, if you are not a person who works on your own vintage amplifiers or the vintage amplifiers of others, and when I say vintage I mean tube amplifiers, then you probably will not own a, a tube tester. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is that how will you know that you need to change your tubes in your vintage uh, amplifier, Leslie amplifier. Well, it would be when your tubes uh, test bad, or if you have a tube that tests bad on your um, tube tester. That's if you have a tube tester. Now, most of you looking at and watching this video uh, will not have a, a tube tester. But many of you will have, um, will be our organists, or you you are interested in Hammond organs, or you play a Hammond organ, or you know somebody that plays a Hammond organ, but or a Hammond organ, and um, and you have an interest in uh, vintage Leslie amplifiers. So what do you do then if you don't have a tube tester, but yet you want to know when do you need to change your audio output tubes? Well. If you ever have your uh, Leslie amplifier rebuilt and your tubes are old, you haven't replaced them in a while, then that might be a good time to uh, consider replacing your audio output tubes. You need new tubes. Uh, you, I mean, you, you might want your not only your audio output tubes, your 6550s, but also your 12AU7 audio tubes, as well as your uh, OC3 uh, regulator as well. So you might want to replace all of those tubes. But beyond that, are there any other times why, where, where you may consider, when you may consider uh, replacing your tubes? Sure, there are. Well, what are those, okay? I'm, let me give you some. If um, your amplifier is humming, I mean, all of a sudden your, your amplifier starts humming, um, you might consider looking at the audio output tubes and replacing those. If when you go to switch your tremolo corral switch on your organ and you get a loud pop, a loud popping sound, you might check um, or consider replacing your audio output tubes. I'm talking about 6550s. Um, if your amp starts blowing fuses, that would be another time to check out or try changing your tubes. Um, if you look at your audio output tubes and one or both of them uh, turns dark red, uh, like an abnormal red color, and I've, I've seen this before, 
then you probably will want to change that tube. Like one is dark red and the other one is not, then you want to change the one that's red. What are some other symptoms of a need to change your audio output tubes? If when you play your organ, uh, you, you, you have a loss of highs or a loss of lows, or both, high, uh, loss of highs and lows. If when you play chords, they sound muddy, you might want to change your tubes. Um, if there is poor balance in the output of notes, um, it's, just, it's not balanced. The notes, different notes, you get some, you get good output, and others you don't, you might consider. Now, there are some other, there could be other reasons for some of these problems other than tubes, but these are some symptoms of bad tubes, uh, output tubes. If your um, organ suddenly, I mean, or it could be over time, over time that it begins to lack punch, and you play it and it doesn't give you punch, you um, might consider changing your audio output tube. If your amplifier sounds weak um, and you have not changed your tubes, well, try changing your audio output tubes and see if that brings your uh, the, the the power of your amplifier back. And uh, a, a final symptom might be that if the your power in your amplifier, like as you play your organ, uh, your power goes fades uh, up and down. So it gets louder, then it goes back. And you're not changing it. You're not changing the volume on your swell pedal. You're not changing that swell pedal. You're holding it, but it, the volume goes down. And then the volume comes back up, goes down. So if, that's, if you're getting that kind of fade, that's, that might be another indicator of a need to um, replace your audio output too. So um, those are some symptoms uh, are that you can uh, consider or signs that you might look for uh, that would be indicative of a need to change out your audio output tubes so that um, your Leslie will be able to operate at uh, peak efficiency. I hope this helps you. This is Dr. Kemp Hammond Doc saying to you until the next video, have a peaceful and wonderful day.